Want to speak real Romanian from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at RomanianPod101.com. Welcome to RomanianPod101.com's Romana in 3 minutes, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Romanian. Bună! Sunt Raluca. Îmi pare bine. Hi! Sunt Raluca. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Romanian phrases. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Romanian. You'll be surprised how easy it is. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's start with a polite and common way to introduce yourself. Bună! Sunt Raluca. Îmi pare bine. Hi, I'm Raluca. Nice to meet you. Bună! Sunt Raluca. Îmi pare bine. The first word is bună, which means hi or hello. After that comes sunt, which means I am. Then say your name. For example, bună, sunt Raluca. Hi, I'm Raluca. Finally, say îmi pare bine, which means nice to meet you. So, all together, it will be Bună, sunt Raluca, îmi pare bine. Hi, I'm Raluca, nice to meet you. There is also another way to say your name. Instead of sunt Raluca, I could say mă numesc Raluca. Mă numesc literally means I call myself. But we use it to mean my name is. Bună, mă numesc Raluca. Îmi pare bine. Hi, my name is Raluca. Nice to meet you. Bună, mă numesc Raluca. Îmi pare bine. Again, let's take a look at these two ways to introduce yourself. Bună, sunt Raluca. Îmi pare bine. Hi, I'm Raluca. Nice to meet you. Bună, mă numesc Raluca. Îmi pare bine. Hi, my name is Raluca. Nice to meet you. Now, it's time for Raluca's insights. In formal situations, people in Romanian-speaking countries greet each other by shaking hands. On the other hand, if we meet someone we are very friendly with, we kiss each other on both cheeks. So, don't be surprised if this happens to you. Do you know how we say thank you in Romanian? You'll learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. Pe curând! See you soon! In the last lesson, you learn how to introduce yourself in Romanian. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to use good manners as you thank people. Sunteți pregătiți? Are you ready? Să începem! Let's start! Saying thank you in Romanian is very easy. It's just one word. Mulțumesc! Mul tu mesc. Mulțumesc means thank you. To say thank you very much, you just need to add foarte mult after it. Foarte mult means very or a lot. Mulțumesc foarte mult. Mul tu mesc. Foarte mult. For a simple thanks, mulțumesc will be enough. If you'd like to say more than just thanks, mulțumesc foarte mult is good to use. Now, it's time to listen and repeat. Mulțumesc. Mulțumesc foarte mult. Now, how do you respond to thank you in Romanian? It's easy. The most common way to say you're welcome is pentru nimic. Pen tru. Ni mic. Ni mic means nothing. So pentru nimic literally means it's nothing. But we use it to mean you're welcome. So when someone says mulțumesc to you, you can simply reply with pentru nimic. Now it's time for a look at insights. If you're not sure about whether to use mulțumesc or mulțumesc foarte mult, keeping it simple is always your safest bet. You don't have to worry about formal or informal situations. Mulțumesc can be used with just about anyone, anywhere, and at any time. 
Do you know how to say goodbye to your friends in Romanian? In our next lesson, you'll learn this and other more greetings. Pe curând! See you soon! Bună ziua, doamnă! Mă numesc Paul Iordache. Îmi pare bine, domnule! Mă numesc Popescu Georgiana. Îmi pare bine, doamnă! Bună tuturor! Sunt Raluca! Hi, everybody! I'm Raluca! Welcome to RomanianPath101.com's Română în 3 minute. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Romanian. In the last lesson, you learn how to show thanks by saying mulțumesc. In this lesson, you learn some of the most common greetings used in Romanian. Sunteți pregătiți? Are you ready? Să începem! Let's start! The most common greeting is bună. Bu na. Buna means hi or hello. We can use it in formal and informal situations at any time of the day. It's very convenient. Buna. Now, let's look at some greetings that are used at certain times of the day. First is good morning. In Romanian, it is buna dimineața. Bu na. Di mi na. Ța. For the rest of the day, we say bună ziua. Bu, n, zi, wa. Bună ziua means good afternoon. This can be used all day as long as it's light outside. Once it starts to get dark, you can switch to this. Bună seara. Bu, n, sea, ra. Bună seara can mean good evening or good night, depending on the situation. Again, that's Buna Sara. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Romanian. Let's review them all again. As a general greeting, Buna. In the morning, Buna Dimineața. In the afternoon, Buna Ziua. In the evening or at night, Buna Sara. Pretty easy, right? Now it's time for a look at insights. If you're not sure which greeting is appropriate to use, Buna dimineața, Buna ziua, or Buna seara, just remember that Buna can be used any time of the day. During the next lesson, you'll learn the meaning of Vorbiță engleza. Do you already know it? In our next lesson, you'll learn this phrase and more. Pe curând! See you soon! In the last lesson, you learned the most common greetings in Romanian. Do you remember them? In this lesson, you are going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you're in a situation where you need help in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. Here's the formal way to say it. Vorbiți engleza? Vor bit en gle za. Again, this means, do you speak English? The word vorbiți is a form of the verb a vorbi, which means to speak. A vorbi is known as an e-verb because it ends in e. Most e-verbs conjugate in a similar way. We will show you how to properly conjugate e-verbs like a vorbi in future series at romanianpath101.com. Now, let's make this sentence informal. This is done by adding yesht to the end of a vorbi after you cut the last vowel e. When we do that, we get vorbesht. All together, vorbește engleza, vorbesht, en gle za. This is the informal way to ask, do you speak English? The responses you receive could be one of these three. Da, vorbesc engleza, meaning, yes, I speak English. Da, vor, besc, en, gle, za. Da, vorbesc puțin, meaning, yes, I speak a little. Da, vor, besc, pu, țin. Nu, nu vorbesc engleza, meaning, no, I don't speak English. Nu, nu. Vor besc en gle za. In all of this, vorbesc means I speak. 
In the last one, we have nuvorbesc, which is the negative form. It means I don't speak. Now it's time for a look at insights. If you want to ask about a different language, just change the word inglesa. Here are some language names to get you started. Italiana for Italian, Russa for Russian, Francesa for French, Germana for German. Do you know how to say I'm sorry in Romanian? In the next lesson, you learn how to apologize and more. Pe curând, see you soon. Domnule profesor, cum se spune a fork în română? O furculiță. Puteți repeta încet, vă rog? O fur cu li -ță. Puteți să scrieți, vă rog? In the last lesson, you learned the phrase vorbiți engleza, meaning do you speak English? In this lesson, we're going to learn how to apologize or say excuse me in Romanian. The basic phrase for excuse me is mă scuzați. Mă scuzați. We can also use it when asking a question. Mă scuzați. Unde este baia? Meaning, excuse me, where is the restroom? Mă scuzați. Unde este baia? Another way to say excuse me is pardon. Pardon. Just like mă scuzați, we can use pardon when asking a question or when apologizing. Both of these phrases can be used for either excuse me or I'm sorry. But if you really want to apologize for something, it might be better to use a different phrase. That phrase is îmi pare rău. It means I'm sorry and can be used in both formal and informal situations. Îmi pare rău. Unlike the others, îmi pare rău only has the meaning of I'm sorry and not excuse me. Now it's time for a look at insights. Please remember that if we accidentally bump into someone on the street, we don't usually say I'm sorry, îmi pare rău. Instead, we say mă scuzați or pardon, excuse me. Are you able to count in Romanian? In the next lesson, you'll learn the numbers in Romanian from 1 to 10. Pe curând! See you soon! In the last lesson, you learned some words you can use when apologizing in Romanian, including mă scuzați and pardon. In this lesson, you are going to learn numbers in Romanian. Yes, numbers, numerele, from 1 to 10. And you are going to learn them in only 3 minutes. 3 minute. Are you ready? Let's start. 1. 1. 2. 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 7 7 8 8 9 9 10 10 Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. Uno. Doi. Trei. Patru. Cinci. Șase. Șapte. Opt. Noua, zece. Great job! What is before one? Do you know? It's similar to English but has a slightly different pronunciation. Zero, zero. You don't have any more excuses. Now you can give your phone number to friends in Romanian. Let's try together. We'll use the phrase Numărul meu este, which means my number is. 
nu mă rul. Meu. S T. Numărul meu este 0 9 3 5 5 4 2 7 6 1. Can you understand it by yourself? 0 9 3 5 5 4 2 7 6 1 Perfect. Now it's time for a look at insides. When you go to some public institutions in Romania, you sometimes have to stand in line with a number. When it's your turn, they will scream numărul 1, numărul 2, and so on. Learn your numbers well so you can be ready. Do you know the Romanian word for 100? In the next lesson, you are going to learn the numbers from 11 to 100 in Romanian. Your task now is to practice the numbers we studied in this lesson from 1 to 10. Pe curând! See you soon! Bună! Mă numesc Masanobu. Bună! Eu sunt Andreea. Bine ai venit în România! Mulțumesc! Sunt încântat să te cunosc în sfârșit. Și eu sunt încântată de cunoștință. Să mergem să vedem orașul. Cu drag! Bună tuturor! Sunt Raluca. Hi everybody! I'm Raluca. Welcome to RomanianPath101.com's Română în 3 minute. The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Romanian. In the last lesson, you learned how to count up to 100 in Romanian. I hope you spend some time practicing the numbers because they will come in handy in this lesson. We're going to learn how to go shopping in Romania. The first thing you need to know how to say is how much is it? Cât costă aceasta? Cât costă a ceas ta? Imagine you see something you like and want to ask the shop clerk how much it costs. The first thing to say is mă scuzați or pardon. Do you remember what this means? Excuse me. Then simply add cât costă aceasta? Meaning, how much is it? Mă scuzați, cât costă aceasta? Excuse me, how much is it? Mă scuzați, cât costă aceasta? Or, pardon, cât costă aceasta? Par, don, cât costă a If you want to be more specific when you're asking how much something is, you just need to add it at the end of the sentence. However, you need to change aceasta to acest if it is a masculine noun or to aceasta if it is a feminine. Let's see some examples. Homemade sausage, cârnat de casă, is one of the Romanian traditional dishes. Sausage is a masculine noun. So if you want to buy one, you'll say, Mă scuzați, cât costă acest cârnat de casă? This means, excuse me, how much is this homemade sausage? Mă scuzați, cât costă acest cârnat de casă? Now, if you want to buy a shirt or kamasha in Romanian, which is a feminine noun, you would say, Mă scuzați, cât costă această cămașă? Excuse me, how much is this shirt? Mă scuzați, cât costă această cămașă? By the way, for more information on masculine and feminine nouns in Romanian, check out lesson 3 of the All About series on RomanianPath101.com. At this point, the shop clerk might confirm by saying acest cârnat de casă, meaning this homemade sausage, această cămașă, meaning this shirt, or just acesta, meaning this. When telling you the price, they will say acest cârnat de casă, 
39 de lei, meaning this homemade sausage, 39 lei, or această cămașă, 39 de lei, meaning this shirt, 39 lei. Now it's time for a look at insights. A faster way to ask about the price of something is cât e, which is a different way of asking how much. For example, if you're in a hurry for a coffee, you can ask the cashier, o cafea vă rog, cât e, meaning a coffee please, how much. This is a shorter, more informal way to ask for the price. At this point, can you count lei in Romanian? Pe curând. See you soon. You've studied for a while and are ready to talk to people and practice what you've learned. But where do you start? Starting a conversation in a new language can seem a bit intimidating. How do you just jump into it? In this video, we'll look at five ways to start conversations. Number one, introduce yourself in your target language. This is usually one of the first things you learn when you start studying a new language. And sometimes starting a conversation or continuing one is as simple as introducing yourself. Number two, talking about the weather. This is a universal talking point. People talk about the weather all over the world. And just saying, it's really nice today is enough to start a conversation. A great way to practice your weather conversation skills is to check out our can-do lesson pathway. This series of lessons teaches you how to talk about the weather in your target language. Number three, give compliments. Compliments are a great way to start a conversation. You can compliment something about your conversation partner's city, country, or something specific to them personally. Hey, your bag is super cute, or that ice cream looks delicious. These kinds of compliments can lead to further conversation about what you complimented. In this case, it could be fashion or a local restaurant. This is a great way to make quick connections with people. Number four, ask for help. For example, you can ask for directions, ask about prices, or request recommendations for restaurants or shopping spots and let the conversation go from there. People are usually happy to lend a helping hand to tourists who are visiting their city. Number five, learn phrases for transactions. This can include getting a room at a hotel or telling a taxi driver where to go. When you're traveling overseas, you'll need to talk to other people in your target language. And while this might be a bit scary at first, you'll find that the people you meet are just happy that you're trying to communicate with them. So get started talking in your target language now. For even more tips on how to start conversations, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.